it's Linda with No Frills ASMR. I'm excited to be back today to look at the other binder of Pokemon cards. We looked a few weeks ago, it was probably over two weeks ago now, because I had to help my other son move to Boston, so I had I couldn't film the next one. I wanted to also <laughs> get a magnifying glass because I was having some trouble seeing with my reading glasses. Um, so anyway, we've already looked at this binder, <coughs> which had um, some kind of newer Pokemon cards. And I am no <laughs> Pokemon card expert. If you watch that video, you'd know for sure that <laughs> I am not. I do love the artwork on these. I think it's interesting to look at and kind of, you can kind of tell if different artists made the cards, I feel like. Um, and I, I admit, I haven't had time to really research more what would make, you know, cards more valuable. I do know that if they're in these packs, these are, they're double wrapped in hard plastic they're probably a little more valuable. However, they're sliding right out of these very easily. So I did um, go online and, oops, sorry, and get a, this is called Vault 9 Pocket Binder. Um, and it stores 360. And it doesn't have a like bind like this does, you know, with the metal. So I think in a later video, I'll put the cards that you guys tell me are valuable <laughs> and put them in here because my son said, yeah, do that. That's a good idea. <laughs> um, and also he did watch <clears throat> the video where I looked at all these and he was totally fine. <laughs> he was not in any way upset. <laughs> so if that eases your mind. <laughs> all right. So... Here is the vintage card binder. I think I'm going to turn off this light because it's putting a little bit of a glow on there, <laughs> like an orange color. And then I'm going to bring in the camera a little closer so we can look at one card at a time without taking them out of the packaging. Hopefully we won't have too much glare. I think I might try that. See how that works. So, is there much of a glare? Can we see the whole card? Um, let's see, maybe I'll bring it out just slightly more, right? Right about there. So, these are in a plastic binder, and then they have a hard binder. Uh, you know, what do you call it? Case. <laughs> and just so you guys know, we, these cards were from when, I think a lot of them anyway, were from when my boys were younger. And we bought them together at garage sales and estate sales and whatever. Or at Walmart, you know, the packs you had to get <laughs> at Target Walmart. But, um, and also there's a vending machine <laughs> on, it's sort of like on the, uh, it's in Maryland, I forget, it's on the highway. And we used to always stop there and buy a pack of cards on a road trip and go through them, which was always fun. And we actually have done that even now that they're in their 20s, <laughs> which is probably where some of the newer cards came from. But these hard cases, I picked up at, a, at an estate sale all the um, packaging. So even back in the day, <laughs> my son put them into these solid cases. So that doesn't necessarily mean they're more valuable. It was just like cards he liked at the time, <laughs> I think. But some of them might be, I have no idea. So this card is called Machamp. <laughs> I don't, I did say I don't know anything about cards. <laughs> so if I pronounce the names wrong, Okay, 
So this says evolves from, hold on, Machoke. This card says it's from 1995, 96, 90. Ooh, and it says it's a first edition. Does that help you guys see? I can't tell. Well, it helps me, so. It's a first edition superpower Pokemon. I don't know what that means. Length 5'3", weight 287 pounds. So this one has one, two, three of these orange things and a star. And its weakness is an eyeball. Oh, retreat cost one, two, three stars. Somebody said something about the stars. But I bet that first edition is probably pretty good. I can't tell if that helps you guys or not. All right, so that's a mush, mush. Now, I want to say, <laughs> part of why I took them out of the packaging last time is because there were cards behind them. I wanted to look at them all. And they were in the but I did, I admit, I did kind of bend one, so apologies for that. <laughs> Forgive me, I know not what I do. Uh, this is Raichu, which I think that's a uh, Pikachu guy, right? Let's see, he says, evolves from Pikachu, stage one. Now, my memory is wrong because I thought that Pikachu's owner or friend or <laughs> trainer train ash never let pikachu evolve i thought that was part of the deal so i can't say i remember i mean i do remember Raichu, but i anyway he says mouse pokemon length two feet seven inches weight 66 pounds weakness i have no idea what that is is it a I can't tell if I should bring you guys in closer, but okay. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it looks like a building, maybe. So that's Raichu. So he's 80 HP and he is 100 HP. All right, let's see if there's anything on the back side of this. Just the backs of the cards. But that one, is that because it's a first edition? What is it? Intel Pro? I don't know. Oh, maybe that's on the cover. But you can see these cards aren't in like minty condition. They have a little white along the edges. So they're, you know, we definitely took them out and would sort through and trade with neighbor kids. <laughs> so that all happened. All right. Next up. Oh, I love Charmander. Oh, I remember them so much. This is like such a blast from the past. <laughs> so this one says it's from 1995, 96, 98. It's not, it doesn't say first edition. But this card, I so clearly remember. Now these are in the packaging and there's another packaging on here. So don't worry, I'm not hurting them. Um... He's a lizard Pokemon, length two feet. Yeah, I remember this one super clearly. He's so cute. I wonder if like the person who did the artwork for these original cards still does artwork today. Are these artists credited? Like do people who like Pokemon know the names of the different artists who make these? <laughs> I've never asked my son that. He probably knows because that's his interest is more in art you know, artwork than the cards, I think. I mean, of course, everybody wants a rare card. That's fun. Okay, the next one is, hold on, let me move. I have stuff in the way over here. Hold on. Let me just move that out of the way. I hope there's not a glare. I hope you guys can see okay. This is Charmeleon. Oh, I remember him so clearly. Flamethrower. Discard. Uh, does anybody play the game? I don't know. And both these guys, their weakness is what looks to be a water. Is it water? Because they're fire? Maybe so. Does that help us? Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Look, guys, we can see a little better. <laughs> anyway, what is this? Stage one evolves from Charmander. Put 
Charmeleon on the basic Pokemon. Uh, so when you play, you're supposed to... I never knew. Okay. Here's Pika. Pika, Pika. Gotta catch them all. Basic Pokemon Pikachu. Gnaw. Thunder Jolt. This one shows it's from 95, 96, 98. But it's from 1999 Wispoo. Oh, look, illustration by Mitushiro Arita. Mitushiro. Oh, they do say the artist's name. I have never... Okay, that's interesting. Now I feel like I have to go through the other folder and look for this illustration. Mitushiro Arita. Arita. I've learned something new, and I love learning new things. <laughs> You guys, if you like learning new things, that's what I do on this channel. We learn about things, so please join me. <laughs> what do we have here? Bulbasaur. I remember him. Let's see. Basic Pokemon. Seed Pokemon. So he's the beginning one. And this one says, same artist. 1995, 96, 96. And then another Bulbasaur, so he has two of those. And then Abra, oh my gosh, I remember Abra. Abra turns into Abracadabra. <laughs> Abra, basic Pokemon. Psy Shock, flip a coin. <laughs> Weakness is an eyeball, I don't know. Uh, what does this one say? Same artist, 1995, 96, 98. So these are all from that same period. The condition on these looks pretty good on this side anyway. I don't see any. Because I remember some of the cards we had, they were at the bottom of the toy bin. <laughs> I would have thought they were more beat up. Oh, bitchy. Hold on, I gotta grab a sip of water. Hold on. Okay, I have my, uh, my kitty cat cup. <laughs> Unfortunately, it Always made a funny noise. All right, Pidgey. Always oh, like a little pigeon. I remember this one too. These are all. This is a different artist. Okay, this artist's name is Ken Sugamori. Ken Sugamori. 1995, 96, 98. So same period, but different artist. Uh, he's a 40 HP. He doesn't say first edition or anything. I assume the ones that I'll put into the vault you know, folder will be the first editions, I guess. But you guys, if you can tell me <laughs> what you think are the better ones, I don't know. Um, but he does have them by, I can tell he has them by, you know, creature, <laughs> whatever, I don't know what they're called. So like, it looks like the evolutions are together, so I don't want to mess that up, I don't know. Anyway, Magamite, oh, we saw him in the new one, didn't we? He must have been a 25th anniversary, we saw. So this is all... No, this, no, it's a different artist. Kaiji Kenobuchi. Kenobuchi, maybe? 1995, 96, 98. 40 HP. Magnet Pokemon. <laughs> it's so funny, it looks like a magnet. How they thought of these things. And then there's just the back of one of the... Um, covers there, I think. All right, let me carefully turn this page. I don't want to, like, look at too many all at once. It'll confuse us. Oh, I see he has a bunch of these cuties. Look how adorable. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Why does it feel crooked? What happened? <laughs> Did my camera move? A little bit. Okay. Volpex is like a doggy with a bunch of tails. That's so cute. Basic Pokemon. He has two fiery things. Who's the artist? Ken Sugamori, 1995, 
9698. I'm starting to think the way to collect Pokemon if you need an in would be to find an illustrator that you like best and then go after their cards or like a group. I think that's how I do it, but I don't know how many illustrators are there. I don't know. So these two are the same. He just has a couple and then he has their, um, it looks like, well, nope. I was going to say this one must evolve to this, but it usually says they evolve. So this is separate pawn point. No, Ponita, Pony, Ponita. And he's got fire for a tail. He's so cute. Ponita, weakness, water. So these are all fire. I get it. I'm getting it. These guys are all fire Pokemon. So their weakness is all water. I do have a chopstick here. I forgot. <laughs> uh, so this one is by Ken. Sugamori. I said a different name. Sugamori. I thought that was a D. It's not. I like I like Ken Sugamori's work. And that's from 95, 96, 98. That's cool. And then look, he has two more <laughs> of that same one. And then Arcanine. Arcanine evolves from a grass. Where's a Growlithe? I remember Growlithe. We don't have a Growlithe here. Okay, he is by Ken Sukumori. Like, see this one? Oh, shoot. It's not quite in camera. I don't know if you can see, but there's like a little dirt or something right there. Uh, 1995, 96, 98. Look at all the stars and stuff. <laughs> but his weakness is what? I don't recall this guy. Coffee. Hold on, I feel like my camera moved just a little bit. Stay right there, you. Coffee. Basic Pokemon. Poison gas Pokemon. <laughs> His weakness is an eyeball. Uh, this one is by... It's even with a... Even with my... um magnifying glass. It's still super hard to read that. <laughs> okay. It is by Mitu. Hold on. I can't see it. Mitu Hero Arita. Oh, he did the earlier ones, right? 95, 96, 98. And another coughing, so he has two. Oh, that's funny. They're called coughing and they're gas, foul gas. It is funny they use like <laughs> oh, I remember this guy. How do you say? It? I know I'll say this wrong. Nidorino. Nidorino. It sounds like a guy from New Jersey. Hey, Nidorino. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not saying that right. Stage one evolves from Nidoram. Put Nidorino on the basic Pokemon. So he is by Mitoshiro Arita, 1995, 96, 98. So he's almost like a Stegosaurus with big ears or a Triceratops or something. Okay. Machop. Wait, didn't we see a Machop? earlier. Hmm. He, oh, is that? No, it's not. I thought that was first edition. Mitushiro Rito, 1995, 96, 98. He's like holding a stone. Oh, here he is in evolved form, I guess. Machoke evolves from Machop. His special move is Karate Chop and submission. Its muscular body is so powerful that it must wear a power save belt to help regulate its motion. There's this power save belt. Wait, do they all say things like that? 
This one says, loves to build its muscles. It trains in all styles of martial arts to become even stronger. This is illustrated by Ken. I think it says Sugamori. 1995-98, It's funny, this, these are by two different illustrators, even though they're evolutions of each other. And then we have Onyx, whose special power is Rock Throw. During your opponent's next turn, no, I want to read this one. As it grows, the stone portion of its body hardens to become similar to a diamond though colored black. Oh, that's by Ken Sukamori, who did the matcha one. He started as an illustrator. All right, another onyx. And then this guy's called Poliwag. He is a basic Pokemon, a tadpole Pokemon. His weakness is water. Its newly grown legs prevent it from running. It appears to prefer swimming over trying to stand. <laughs> so he's really like a tadpole. That's cute. Ken Sugamari. The same here. These are all from the same. And then another one of those polywags. This one's condition might be a little better. This one's got a little dark here, I think. Okay, next is like one of my all-time favorites. Pokemon. And it's not Mew because Mew's my favorite. But here we go. Eevee. <laughs> She's so cute. Hold on, I'm going to move my. Uh... Hold on. Okay. This is Eevee, basic Pokemon. Oh, she's on the next page. All right, we got to wait for Eevee. Sorry. We have to go here. Starmie. Evolves from star U. <laughs> star U turns to star me. <laughs> Stage one. Its central core glow with the seven colors of the rainbow. Oh, its central core glows with the seven colors of the rainbow. Some people value this core as a gem, but they don't have the seven colors. <laughs> it probably costs too much to put that much ink. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have it all the way in. So they were like, just make it red. It's fine. <laughs> this is by Ken. No, sorry. Kaiji Kinabuchi. I don't know how to say names, so forgive me. <laughs> 95, 96, 98. And then the next one is called Poly Whirl. Uh, Capable of living in or out of water. When out of water, it sweats to keep its body slimy. I love that. <laughs> That's cool. His special power is amnesia. Oh my gosh. He's like, he's like, um, what's the word? Hypnotizing you? Oh my god, I love it so much. <laughs> I do feel hypnotized. You're getting Wait, where was Evie? I'm so confused. She's on this page. Oh, okay. Okay. Somehow I've gotten this folder down. Now it's like in my stomach down here. <laughs> All right. This, oh, look how funny. It's like a three-faced pineapple. <laughs> Executor. Executor. <laughs> His special skill is teleport and big explosion. So it's like a pineapple with egg heads. I guess that's what it is. Hold on, let's read this. Can you guys see? I don't know. Legend has it that on rare occasions, one of its heads will drop off and continue on as an execute. It's covered by this executor or something. <laughs> Oh, probably as an execute. Okay. Uh, that's funny. And 
And then the next one is execute. Okay, hold on a minute. Yes, he's kind of backwards because this is the basic. And this one evolves from the, the eggs. This artist is... I can't quite read it. Kenamori Heminu, maybe? And this is a different... Oh, this is the artist from earlier. Arita. Execute. He has a couple of these. He has two of those. Uh, often mistaken for eggs, when disturbed, they quickly gather and attack in swarms. Oh my gosh, that's terrifying. <laughs> So they dirt into him. Okay. All right. Next we have. Oops. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, guys. I knocked the camera. Nidorina. Nidorina. The female's horn develops slowly. Prefers physical attacks such as clawing and biting. Oh my. So. This one is Nidorina. And these are both by Ken Sukamori. This one's cute. It looks like a little hamster. I feel like in the other folder we saw something similar to this. But this one's from 1998, I think. Or uh, maybe. Or 1999 Wizards pack still. This has 60 HP. Although small, it's venomous barbs make the Pokemon dangerous. The female has smaller horns. Wait, and the cards are there female and male? <gasps> what? <laughs> I didn't know that. And then we have Butterfree. <laughs> Evolves from, what does that say? Metapad. In battle, it flaps its wings at high speed to release highly toxic dust into the air. Oh my god. Illustrated by Kagamaru Hamino, maybe? And that's also from the 99 Wizards pack. So those are cute. All of those are like great artwork. I mean, look at that. To put all that into this little... That's cute. Alright guys, now we come to And he has two. So basic Pokemon Eevee. Tail wag is their special move. Quick attack. Its genetic code is irregular. It may mur oh, I'm sorry, I don't say murder. <laughs> it may mutate. I better get that. If it is exposed to radiation from elemental stones. And this is by Boy, I really can't read that. Kikamaru Hamino. And also from Wizards 1999 Game Freak. And this one is the same. And then we've got Meowth. Adorable Meowth. Basic Pokemon adores circular objects, wanders the streets on a nightly basis to look for dropped loose change. <laughs> I don't remember that. He's sitting on money. That's so funny. I never noticed that before. Illustrated by Mitoshiro Arika. 1995, 96, 98. Well, but Meowth turns into Nope. There aren't any over here. It's just the backs. You know, like he has these plastic sheets on there, so that's you don't even see the back of the card. All right, what have we here? Hold on, let me. Sometimes you get too many cards, it's hard to see them. Okay, what is this one? Kids, <laughs> this is from some probably I don't know what cereal or something or McDonald's. No, I don't know how. Oh, the movie when you see the movie, the Pikachu movie. Kids WB presents Pokemon the first movie. It was it was a good movie. <laughs> um, when several of these Pokemon gather, they attract so much electricity that they can cause lightning to strike. Wow. 
This is by Ken Sugimori and also from the Game Freak 1999 Wizards. And the condition is played with. Like you can see probably some sour candy sticky on there. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know what it is. <laughs> A little dirt or something. Mouse Pokemon. <laughs> and then the next one oh, I love is Mew. Oh my gosh, I love you, Mew. Look how cute Mew is with the big old tail. Basic Pokemon. So rare that it is still said to be a mirage by many experts. Only a few people have seen it worldwide. Wow, I love that. By Ken, this is the same artist. Hold on. I gotta get his name right. Sugamori. And this is from Game Freak. 19, these, this is 1999. This is 1999 slash 2000 wizards. It has Mew. Yeah, I totally remember collecting these and I think my boys weren't as into Mew because it didn't have the um, HP, the high HP, but I always wanted Mew. <laughs> I was like, keep Mew when they trade, you know, with their buddies. Um, they actually banned Pokemon cards at their school growing up because of uh, trade issues. <laughs> And I feel like one of my kids was involved in that. That, like, they traded a card with another kid. And that kid went home and, like, regretted the trade. And went, the mom went to the principal or something. I was like, good grief. <laughs> Them's the breaks, kids. <laughs> Meryl, 50 HP. Uh, I don't remember that one. I can't say I remember that. Ken Sugimori. 1995-2000 Pokemon Creatures? I think it says Creatures. Yeah, I don't recall this guy. The tip of its tail, which contains oil that is lighter than water, lets it swim without drowning. Oh, that's kind of cool. So this little bit here on his tail keeps him to float. Kind of neat. Mew, Mew and Pikachu will definitely go in the other folder because I love them. <laughs> Maybe I'll do certain artists' cards or something. So on this side, there's just the backs of those cards. And you can see the Mew ones a little beat around the edges. Because <laughs> we played with it, probably. Oh yeah, this guy looks like a dinosaur, you know? He is a basic Pokemon Lapras with 80 HP. It says Pokemon that has been overhunted almost to extinction. Oh, so he's like, um, not a dinosaur, but um, the Loch Ness monster. Lapras, Loch Ness, okay. It can ferry people across water. Oh, cute. You can ride on it. I like it. I like it. This is by Ken. Can't quite read it. Sugimori, maybe. Um, boy. 1999 Wizards. Yeah, Lapras. Like Loch Ness. That's funny. They're smart. <laughs> These are smart. All right. Mulk. Ooh. He looks like the blob. Have you guys ever seen the 1950s movie, The Blob? It's a good one. <laughs> but there's a blob that looks just like this dude. And it just starts, it'll come through like your heating vents and then just grows and grows and you get suffocated by it. <laughs> the Mulk stage one evolves from Grimer. Oh my. Thickly covered with a, what is this? Looks like thickly covered with a filthy, vile sludge. <laughs> it's so toxic, even its footprints contain poison. <laughs> and that is from 
Mitoshiro. Oh, that's the guy who did the first cards. Arita. Uh, 1999 Wizards. Let's see if there's anything on the back. I can just see the backs of the cards. There's a little wear along the edge of that one. This one looks okay. Eh, a little, little something there. All right. Let's check out these guys. Who do we have here? Magmar. He has two Magmars. He looks so sad, golly. He kind of looks like a sad devil duck with a tail. <laughs> oh, what's his story? Magmar, basic Pokemon, smokescreen and smog, found at the mouths of volcanoes and extremely hard to spot. There are very few instances of capturing this Pokemon. Interesting. By, by Arita, the guy from the other 1999 Wizards. So these two are both basic Magmar. And then we have basic Geodude. <laughs> okay. See, this would not have been one of my favorites. <laughs> I would have been like, eh. Because <laughs> he's a rock. Uh, his special skill is Stone Barrage. Found in fields and mountains, mistaking them for boulders, people often step and trip on them. By Gigamori. Aminu, 1999 Wizards. And then he has another Geodude and Graveler, two Gravelers actually, which evolve from Geodude. So Geodude turns into Graveler. Okay, so Graveler rolls down slopes to move. It rolls over any obstacles without slowing or changing its direction. And, yeah, the same artist does both of these. 60 HP. And then we have Aerodactyle. <laughs> oh, some of these names are so fun. Aerodactyle evolves from Mysterious Fossil. Oh, I gotta find my son a Mysterious Fossil card now that I that's, oh, that's a good idea. I'll make it, because I go to a lot of, I deal with vintage and antiques, um, so I go to a lot of sales and stuff, so I should note which ones he doesn't have the basics <laughs> and try to find them. Anyway, um, a ferocious prehistoric Pokemon that goes for the enemy's threat with its serrated saw-like He's from 1999 Wizards. And then we have Slowbro. <laughs> Slowbro. Oh, he's getting eaten. Good grief. This Shielder or Shelder. I can't read that word. Hold on. It's capitalized too. The Shelder that is latched onto Slowpoke's tail is said to feed on the host leftover scraps. So this is a shelter. This is a weird one, guys. This is strange. He evolves from Slowpoke. Oh, we don't have Slowpoke. Um, 1999 Wizards. <laughs> and then, oh, I remember Hypno. There's a cool... Um, hero graphic hero, hero. anyway shiny <laughs> hypno I think hypno evolves from drowsy uh, when it locks eyes with an enemy it will use a mix of PSI moves such as hypnosis and confusion can Sugamori from Wizards. Hypno. Slowbro and Hypno. Bring some over here. 
Zubat. Look at how many. <laughs> he has three of those. Look at one, two stars. Zubat, 40 HP, supersonic. Hold on, what does that say? Oh, boy. Kagamani Jimenez, so I don't know. 1999 Wizards. Zubat. Forms colonies in perpetuality. Perpetuity, nope. Perpetuality, nope. Hold on. Let me get this word. Sometimes I get stuck. Perpetually. Forms colonies in perpetually dark... Oh, I see. I was reading it wrong. In perpetually dark places, uses ultrasonic waves to identify and approach targets. So it's like a bat. Okay. So he has... Sorry, he has three of those. And then, I'm assuming this is the... Evolution evolves from Zubat to make Golbat. <laughs> Golbat, Golbat. Um, once it strikes, it will not stop draining energy from the victim, even if it gets too heavy to fly. Wow. <laughs> that could be a problem for it. Kagamori Hanino from the 1999 Wizards. And he doesn't just have one Golbat, he has a three. <laughs> And then Grimer. Oh yeah, we saw okay. We saw the evolution of Grimer. Basic Pokemon Grimer appears in filthy areas, thrives by sucking up polluted sludge, and it that is pumped out of factories. <laughs> no. So he has three Grimer. So on these pages he has three Grimer. Three Golbat and three Zubats. Okay. Here we have Weezing. Oh, it doesn't sound. It almost looks like a pirate thing, doesn't it? Oh, and there's another dude here. Huh. Evolves from coughing <laughs> to Weezing. Uh, that's funny. His weakness is an eye. Where two kinds of poison gases meet, two coughings can fuse into a wheezing over many years. <laughs> Interesting. And then we have Kingler. He has two of these. Evolves from Krabby. We need a Krabby. Stage one is Krabby. Oh, I see. You know what? I don't know if I noticed that. This is where they show the stage one. Crab hammer. <laughs> the large pincer. I say pincher, but people say pincer. The large pincher has 10,000 horsepower of crushing power. However, its huge size makes it unwieldy to use. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> crab hammer. And then we have crabby. Oh, crabby's kind of cute. I could boil him up with some old bags. Iron grip is his special power. Uh, its pinchers, <laughs> pinchers are not only powerful weapons, they are used for balance when walking sideways. And these, I think, are all from the... These are all still 1999 wizards. Oh, this one's cute. I remember this guy. Horsey. He has two of these. Smoke screen. Known to shoot down flying bugs with precision, blast of his, of ink, from the surface of the water. <laughs> I read that wrong. I need my thing. I, I swear I can see it better on the screen of this phone almost than I can in person. Known to shoot down flying bugs with precision, blast of ink from the surface of the water. Okay. He's by Arita, who did the first ones. He's from the Wizards. These are all from original. Oh my gosh, look, guys. He has one, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, this one's cute. Nidoran. Nidoran? Oh, he's on the next page. All right. Hold on. No, 
not get ahead of ourselves. Oh, it's just the back some stuff. Sometimes he has others. There's Pika. Pika, Pika. I know Pikachu's probably not the one people are excited about anymore, but I like Pika. <laughs> I still think Pika's cute. Basic Pokemon Pikachu by this is the card we already looked at, right? Yeah. Game Freak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although this one says 95, 96, 98. I thought the other one said 99. This could be older. I'm not sure. Condition looks... Oh, no, it's all bent right here. Isn't it? Yeah. Wartle. Or no, Wartortle. <laughs> Wartortle. I'm going to go with Wartortle. So, evolves from Squirtle. Oh, yeah. Squirtle. He, what does that say? Ken Sugimori, 1995-98. Often hides in water to stalk unweary prey. When swimming quickly, it moves its ears to maintain balance. <laughs> that would be cute to see. All right, and then we've got Squirtle, and we don't just have one Squirtle. Basic Pokemon. Bubble flip a coin. Okay, what does it say? After birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell. It's powerfully, it powerfully sprays from, I'm sorry, it powerfully sprays foam from its mouth. You get older like me, you have trouble reading little writing sometimes. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's cute. He's an original, right? I mean, that goes way. So he evolves Squirtle, evolves into Wordle, or Wartortle. I am saying that wrong. Let's see, what is this guy? Ivysaur. Vine Whip is his thing. When the bulb of its back grows large, the Pokemon seems to lose the ability to stand on its hind legs. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's from the same artist. So all these. Oh, here's Nidoran again. We already had one or two of those, didn't we? Yeah. He's dead. This female has smaller. Oh, the female is fine. Yeah, yeah, we did read that one because that's when I learned there are female and male. <laughs> did not know that. Okay, what's on the. Oh, yes. He has a whole other page. So. I don't know, you guys, these might be boring for you. I don't know. I'm sorry if it is. This is just what's here. I don't know anything about whether they're interesting or not. <laughs> they're interesting to me because I haven't seen these in ages. Nidorina evolves from Nidoron. Okay, so there's stage one, stage two. The female horn develops slowly, prefers physical attacks such as clawing and biting. Uh, what does that say on the, um, this one says 1999-2000 wizards. Uh, and then another, and then this one is Nidoran. Wait, I'm confused. I thought, <laughs> is that the girl? Wait, I'm confused. So we have this one called Nido. Oh, I am learning something new. See, this one has a boy symbol. And then this one has the girl symbol. Oh, do, 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 do. Well, what do you know about that? Stiffens its ears to sense danger. The larger, more powerful of its horns secretes venom. Are there more that I, have I missed that before? I don't know. That's the only one I've noticed. And then Nidorino. Okay, so that's the evolve of the male, right? And this is the evolution of the female, but then they don't have the notation. Oh boy, complicated. 
Reno Horn Drill 50, an aggressive Pokemon that is quick to attack. The horn on its head secretes a powerful venom. It's crazy. Weedle. I remember it. Weedle. Weedle, often found in forest eating leaves, it has a sharp, venomous stinger on its head. And then here's more Weedles. He has three, but then he's got Beedrill, <laughs> which evolves. Oh, I thought I was going to say evolves from Weedle, but no. It evolves from Kakuna. Hold on a minute. So Weedle probably turns into this, Kakuna, which we don't have, and then Kakuna turns into Beedrill. So he's missing Kakuna. Interesting. Flies at high speeds and attacks using the large venomous stingers on its forelegs and tail. Oh, yeah. All right, so we need to look for a cocoon. <laughs> oh, Venomoth. Evolves from Venonat. <laughs> yeah, these are funny. The dust-like scales covering its wings are color-coded to indicate the kinds of poison it has. Hmm. And then, oh my gosh, this one's called Goldine, and it looks like a goldfish. It says, its tail fin billow like an elegant ballroom dress, giving it the nickname Water Queen. Water Queen. Well, my son must like Water Queen because he has one, two, three, four, five Water Queens. <laughs> must have been easy to come by. And then there's Seeking. Evolves from Goldarine. Well, that's... Oh, Goldine. Wait, why did I read that wrong? Oh, yeah. So this one evolves into Seeking. And it says... In the autumn spawning season, they can be seen swimming powerfully up rivers and creeks. And here is a poly whirl, which we saw before, guys. Because um, he was the one I said, Oh, yeah, but you do sleep. Oh, he evolved from polywag. Capable of living in or out of water. Yeah, we definitely saw because this one that sweats. <laughs> Dugong, Dugong, stage one. Oh, yes, look how cute this little stage one is. Evolved from seal. Can you guys see that stage one? I hope, I hope my son has one of these. It does not help you, does it? Nope. Sea lion Pokemon. Oh, I love sea lions so much. And he's got a little horn, and he's got little, like, tusks. He's adorable. Stores thermal energy in its body, swims at a steady eight knots, even in intensely cold water. I think I'm going to do a video on knots, like how far a knot is. I don't think I did that in the um, cruise ship lingo video, I don't think. Okay, guys, I may have to take a break because I need to get a tea. My voice is... We still have a lot left. Maybe I'm going way too slow. I'm sorry if I am. But you can put on two times speed. <laughs> or maybe you've fallen asleep. I hope so. All right, guys. I will talk to you soon. I'll do some more of this very, very soon. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see anything different when I continue. I'll go ahead and post this and let you tell me because if I'm doing anything